Hi and welcome, my name is Marcin and in this lesson we're going to talk about preferences in Photoshop. When the first time you open Photoshop you might not like all of the things, for example you might not like interface color or you might not like the way your cursor looks like, for example the brush cursor, as you can see brush cursor, you might want to change some of the things a little bit. To do this we have to choose edit and then preferences. Let's start with general preferences even if there is nothing to do because they are just general preferences but let's start from interface as i said about color some of you might not like this uh, default color i'm a huge fan of this color and i feel the most comfortable with this color but some of you might like a bit darker color which i don't really think it's great but some of you might feel way comfortable with this bright color this soft gray color of this one or this one so as you can see, it's really easy way to change this. If some of you feel way better with this color, you should choose the color for this. You have many other preferences as well. If you will work with camera now a bit later, I will explain you, of course, what's camera now. You can set some settings about camera now preferences. You can set performance of your Photoshop. You can set memory use by Photoshop. So decide how much you want to let Photoshop to use your memory. I said 85%, it's extremely high, but I'm not using this laptop to anything else than Photoshop. But I think default settings is actually the best. It's 70% and it's, um, it's really good settings. So you can s stop this at 70%. You can keep this at 70%. If you not use your computer to anything else, you can, of course, let Photoshop to use a bit more memory. Then you can set your cursors. As you can see, we have painting cursors. I'm using normal brush tip. And I think that's the default one, but you can change this cursor into standard one, precise or any other. The same other cursors, you can set standard or precise. So that's the two probably the most important thing. That's interface, the color you think feel comfortable, cursors, you can set your transparency and game mode. About unit and rulers, you have resolution here. As you can see, print resolution 300, it's standard one for printing. Let's see something else which can be useful. And the last thing I probably want to do, as you can see, you can set preferences for your 3D objects and let's go into experimental features. So if some of you has huge screen, not a 13 inch laptop like me, but a bit bigger screen. And if you have really huge resolution of the screen, higher than 1080p, it might look not really well. All of the tools, all of the panels might be really small which makes your work really difficult and uncomfortable because all of the signs over here can be too small to see them. So as I said, if you have huge screen and if you have huge resolution and all of the tools are too small, you can scale your Photoshop into 20% of high density displays. It's only for Windows, I have to say, it's not for Mac. So if all of the tools are too small, you can set uh, the view to 200% view and it might make the view a bit better. I'm not going to change this because my screen is really small. If I'm going to change the view for 200%, it will look just horrible. So that's all about preferences for now. I just wanted to tell you a few things about this, how to set your preferences to make your work really comfortable.